For Fox Sports Next and Longhorn Digest.com, I'm Annabelle Stefan alongside Kevin Flaherty here to talk a little Texas football and recruiting. Kevin and I have been going to a lot of the camps. The Horns have hosted a number of top prospects and a lot of offers have been going out, especially to the 2014 class. So we're here breaking down some of those players who maybe ha are still looking at the Horns but haven't committed yet. Kevin, who really caught your eye over the past couple of weeks? Well, I think you have a, a pair of defensive backs and it's kind of interesting because they both work with the same trainer in Clay Mack and actually the same trainer who works with Jamal Adams, you know, another top Texas target. But I really thought that Garrett Davis looked outstanding on the June 2nd camp and then Jason Hall came out and really looked good that next week at the June 9th camp. And both of those guys are very similar in terms of being bigger DBs. Now, Garrett Davis is a guy who is a little bit more off Texas's radar, you know, a kid from Red Oak came out and he measured a little bit over six foot and then he ran 4.52 in the 40 yard dash and so immediately you know the coaches kind of gravitated to him and then he did the thing that a lot of coaches love which is he kept jumping up in line to take more repetitions and take on you know some of the better prospects in attendance and Jason Hall you know did a lot of those same things he's a little bit bigger at about 6'2 he could play safety he could play corner he's a really versatile guy currently still committed to Nebraska but you know he was a guy that talking to him afterwards you could tell he really liked the Texas offer it was really going to give him a lot to think about and so both of those guys Davis didn't earn an offer but earned quite a bit more attention from Akina and both of those guys are guys to really keep an eye on especially as maybe some of the other defensive back targets in the 2014 class fall off. Who on the offensive side of the ball do you think has really shown that they were warranting of a Texas offer? Well I think that one, one guy had a Texas offer and the other one didn't and we're, we're talking about obviously the Foreman brothers Armani and Dante and you know, Armani already had a Texas offer. I thought that he was pretty good at Texas's camp. I thought the receiver class that they brought in to those camps were just absolutely stacked, you know, and I was looking at it, you know, Armani was probably my sixth or seventh favorite guy there out of the receiver class. So that just tells you how thick it was. And those weren't all 2014 guys. But at the same time, Dante was a guy who came in and really performed quite a bit past expectations. He actually ran faster than Armani. He ran in the 4-4-3, 4-4-4 range in the 40-yard dash. And I know you actually had a chance to see him in running back drills, and, and you thought that he looked pretty good as well. Yeah, and I think that one of the things that is, I guess, the question on everybody's mind is, did an offer go out to Dante? We are hearing both things. And so it's going to be interesting to see if the brothers do end up playing together or if they do go their separate ways. I know they want to play together, but... I know also that Texas was really high on both of their radars, so it's definitely an interesting situation that we're trying to keep tabs on. Kevin, regardless of position, obviously there have been a lot of talented guys that we've seen at the multi-day camps, at the weekend camps. Who is your favorite 2014 prospect that you think the Horns could really, uh, really benefit from landing? I, I think that when you when you phrase it like that, the name that jumps off the page to me is Victor Evans, and Victor Evans is a guy that his body has changed so much over the past year. He went from a guy that maybe a lot of people thought would play at linebacker to now he's a no doubt defensive end and not just that you see him walking by and he looks like he's already in college but he played very well. I thought at the camp as his body continues to mature he's a really good athlete really quick off the edge and I think that he's somebody that if you're a Texas fan you should keep an eye on in terms of watching out for maybe maybe a commitment over the next month or two. And with the commitment, something that's been very interesting is it's these guys who are landing them at these camps are not waiting to commit. They're pretty much jumping on them, if not the day of, then the day after. So putting Kevin on the spot a little bit, who do you think of these guys could be the next to join the 2014 class? Well, I think that I think that Evans is a guy who's a great possibility. You know, Texas already has several defensive ends in that class. Jake McMillan may be a guy who could bulk up and play defensive tackle. But that's a, a position that they really wanted to hammer hard, and they're going to hold out late for Solomon Thomas but before that happens I think they want to add one more guy to this class besides Thomas and I think that Victor Evans knows that that guy is him and you know they're feeling the love sort of both both ways and I, I would be a little bit surprised if he made it through the summer without committing. Well, a lot of movement in the, both the 2014 and 15 recruiting classes so make sure to keep it right here at Longhorn Digest for all your needs on Texas football and recruiting. Alongside Kevin Flaherty I'm Annabelle Stefan Fox Sports. Thank <laughs> you.